Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, Prep 2. How are you today? Today we are going to talk about atmospheric, atmospheric layers. But first, let's remember that we have studied atmosphere before, and we said that atmosphere is a group of gases that are surrounding the Earth's surface by the effect of gravity. But what are the atmospheric layers and what is the importance of each layer of them that we are going to talk about today? First, atmospheric envelope of the air is a gaseous envelope that rotates with the air around its axis and extends about and extends about 1,000 km above sea level. Atmospheric pressure is the weight of air column of an atmosphere height on a unit area. So, as you go as you go up, atmospheric pressure decreases due to due to decreasing the height of the air column so its weight decreases atmospheric pressure is measured in a bar or millibar so one bar equals 1000 millibar the normal atmospheric pressure value at sea level equals 1013.25 millibar and instruments that are used to measure atmospheric pressure are called barometers and there are some barometers like aneroids and altimeters which have other functions or other uses for example aneroids are used for for, determine, for determining the day weather depending on atmospheric pressure altimeters are used to measure the elevation above sea level in aeroplanes depending also on atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure maps there are some maps that are used to determine the positions or the regions or areas of high and low atmospheric pressure and the movement of air isobar are curved lines that we can observe in the phone figure are curved lines that join points of equal pressure in atmospheric maps for example these lines observe a region of low atmospheric pressure it's signed with the letter L while this region is signed with the letter H which represents a region of high atmospheric pressure and the movement of air air moves from the region of high atmospheric pressure to a region of low atmospheric pressure layers of atmospheric envelope the first layer is troposphere and it is said to be the more disturbed layer as all atmospheric changes like storms winds rains lightning all these phenomena occur in it Okay, it is the first layer of atmosphere where, where all weather changes occur in it. It contains about 57 of atmospheric air maps and it contains more than 90% of water vapor. Temperature of this layer is at its top is minus 60 Celsius degree. And atmospheric pressure, the normal atmospheric pressure value is 0.1 bar. Air movement in this layer is vertical, where hot air moves upward while cold air moves downward. So the movement of air in this layer is vertical. Tropopause is a region that separates between troposphere layer and stratosphere layer which is the next one as we can observe in the following figure which represents the atmospheric layers the first one is troposphere and it's followed by the stratosphere while tropopause region is the region between troposphere and while tropopause layer is the region between troposphere and stratosphere how we can measure the height of a mountain depending on the change in temperature 
height of a mountain equals the change in temperature divided by 6.5. This value expresses the elevation above sea level with only one kilometer. As we know that when we go up, the temperature decreases, okay? And it decreases with a value of 6.5 for each one kilometer above sea level. So, height of a mountain equals the change in temperature divided by 6.5, the change in temperature equals temperature at the top of mountain minus temperature at its foot, which means at its base, okay? Temperature at foot, for example, if the temperature at the foot of this mountain is 30 Celsius degree and temperature at its top is zero Celsius degree, so the change in, the change in temperature equals zero minus 30, which equals minus 30 Celsius degree. So the height of the mountain equals 30 and the negative charge expresses only the decrease in temperature okay so 30 divided 6.5 it equals 4.62 kilometer approximately okay so stratosphere layer it is the second layer that follows troposphere layer okay it is the second atmospheric layer and it is very suitable for flying of planes that's why because the movement of air in this layer is horizontal movement it contains ozone layer which is very important for all living organisms because it protects them from the harmful radiations which come from the outer space and very harmful for the living organisms okay the temperature at this layer is zero celsius degree at its base and it reaches to minus 60 celsius degree at its top and the normal atmospheric pressure is 0 0.001 bar mesosphere layer it is the third atmospheric layer and it is the coldest one it is highly referred referred layer that's why as it contains small amounts of helium and hydrogen gas it protects the living organisms from the rocky celestial masses coming from the outer space as we can observe in the following figure these are meteors or rocky masses that come from from the outer space and they have some friction force between between them and the layers of atmosphere or atmospheric layers causing their burning in mesosphere layer. Stratobos is the region between stratosphere layer and mesosphere. Thermosphere layer, it is the last layer of atmosphere and it is the hottest one as it is the closest or the nearest one from the sun. It is its upper part or upper layer is called the ionosphere layer layer which has some ions some charged ions that are very important for wireless and for wireless communication and road broadcasting that's why because these ions or this layer layer reflects radio waves transmitted by radio stations and communication center It is also surrounded by two magnetic bells, which are known as Van Allen bells. Van Allen bells are two magnetic bells that are surrounding the ionosphere layer and they play an important role in scattering harmful charged cosmic radiations coming from the outer space. And an important phenomenon that occurs in this layer is aurora phenomenon. What is aurora phenomenon? It is a phenomenon that appears as brightly colored, colored light curtains seen at both pole, poles, the north and south pole of the Earth. Okay, exosphere 
layer is the region where the atmospheric envelope is inserted to the outer space or it is the region between the outer space and the atmospheric layers. That is all about our lesson today and I hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you.